Jeremy again from Rapido Trans Inc. It's been a while since I've been in an N scale video because it's been a while since we've had some N scale stuff to show you. <coughs> anyway, I'm here today to show off our new N scale Procore GP20 tank car. Now, what better way to show off a model that's approximately 54% the size of its HO counterpart than by being joined by a 54% version of me? So, uh, why don't you? Start opening that up for the good people, and we'll get started. Yeah, it's tough, eh? Yeah. My back now, fortunately, I prepared one before the show, so let's get into some of the details. Daddy, can I be in the video? Well, let's see. Mm, no, you see, you're not approximately 54% of my size. You're approximately 39% of my size. So when we start doing Z scale products, we'll, uh, we'll put you in that video, okay? Okay. All right. Bye now. <laughs> Built between 1969 and 1984 at Procore's Oakville, Ontario plant, the GP20 tank car became a fixture on North American rails well into the 2000s. They were used primarily for hauling lighter density, non-temperature sensitive commodities such as fuel and oil. Our model represents the later version with the 100 ton trucks. I personally have some of the Procore cars in the split P scheme in the PROX reporting marks, which fits into my 1990-1991 modeling time frame. I'm all about the 90s. But let's check out some of that sweet, sweet detail. We got photo etched metal walkways, detailed vent stacks, loading hatches, air tanks, braking equipment, coupler cut bars, and my most favoriteest features of all, body mounted couplers and low profile metal wheel sets, which will glide down code 40 track without touching a single spike head. This is the way. <laughs> Why are you talking Mandalorian way? Stop doing that. Cause it's my show. Are you kidding me? These cars also have era specific details such as ACI labels, COTS panels, and conspicuity marks as appropriate. Like, how awesome would a string of these look racing down your track? Well, it would look this awesome. In addition to the Procore split P scheme in both UTLX and PROX, we also have Procore small and large word mark, NCTX North American, Government of Alberta in UTLX and PROX, as well as company service cars for CP Rail and the British Columbia Railway in both Flower Power and the BC Rail schemes. Oh, and of course, painted but unlettered for your railroad of lies. Oh hey, what's that over there? We'll talk about that later. So there you go. These are actually en route to Rapido as we speak. They'll be here in a matter of days and uh, just check our, check our website or check with your favorite dealer or hobby shop for availability and uh, get those on your layout because uh, they're pretty cool. On that note, Rapido out. Why would you ask me to, um, to open this if you already had one? Um, just give you something to do. Keep you busy. Okay. That's called parenting. <laughs>